2018 Porsche Macan Turbo Review with 440 horsepower and outstanding dynamics, the Macan Turbo fully deserves its Porsche crest. Believe it or not, there are still people in this world who hate the idea of the Macan. It's not a real Porsche. You've no doubt heard this before. But I'm telling you, the Macan is as much a proper Porsche as any other car in the company's lineup. And it takes about 15 minutes behind the wheel to realize that. Of course, it's not perfect. As you'll read in the sections below, the Macan's performance and luxury come at a big cost. My gut tells me this car deserves at least a 9 tenths rating, but in the context of all SUVs, even luxury ones, the turbo's incredible performance can't completely make up for its high cost and low fuel economy. Pricing Surprise, surprise, a not cheap Porsche. Macan models start as low as budget for the S, which are actually pretty competitive within the luxury crossover segment. But for the privilege of owning the turbo, and this performance pack car starts. Design and Exterior A lot of people say the Macan looks like a 7 8 version of the Cayenne, but I have to ask, is that such a bad thing? I love the slope of the roof line, the chiseled front end, and the super clean rear, it looks even better with a badge delete option. This car has the turbo exterior package, which gets you these 21 inch wheels, LED headlights, black air intakes, a body colored roof spoiler, black side blades, black sport exhaust tips, and more. An expensive kit, to be sure, and to be honest, the Macan Turbo looks just as great without it. Line this cube up against a Mercedes GLC or Audi Q5, and to my eye, it's the prettiest of the bunch. Interior and Comfort I'll admit, the sheer number of buttons on the Macan Center stack is overwhelming at first blush, but live with the car for a week, and you get used to it. In fact, I enjoy the fact that there are physical buttons for everything, no car systems hidden in infotainment menus, everything clearly labeled. That aside, the Macan's cabin uses a simple, easy-to-navigate layout, with a small gauge cluster, infotainment screen front and center, and only a few steering wheel-mounted controls. It's a nice place to spend time, too. Front seats are electronically adjustable in all directions, and side bolsters on the seat backs and bottoms can be positioned to your exact liking, as well. The seats themselves are super comfortable and supportive, you won't suffer fatigue after hours of driving. The only demerit here is the relatively small screen size. Yes, there's a secondary display on the right side of the gauge cluster, but in a time when 12-inch screens are quickly becoming the new norm for luxury cars, the Macan's 7-inch sensor display looks decidedly small by comparison. Performance and Handling as you'd expect from any car with Porsche and Turbo in its name, this Macan is a superstar on the road. This performance pack model adds an extra 40 horsepower and 36 pound-feet of torque to the already potent Macan Turbo, for final output numbers of 440 horsepower and 442 pounds to foot. But it's not just about numbers or straight line speed, 0-60 in 4.2 seconds, by the way. The Macan deserves high marks for its incredible balance and composure, even on winding roads. The steering is nicely weighted, with lots of great feedback. There's little body roll while cornering. The ride quality is superb, even on these huge 21-inch wheels. I'd probably be just as happy driving a less expensive Macan GTS, but there's no arguing that the Turbo is a standout performer amongst premium crossovers. Safety Features Megan Turbo models come standard with blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control, among other niceties. But it lacks any active collision prevention, mitigation technology or semi-autonomous features. Porsche will soon offer its new InnoDrive driver assistance tech on the 2018 Panamera and 2019 Cayenne, and it'll hopefully make its way down to the Megan in the crossover's next generation running costs and fuel economy. EPA ratings for the Macan Turbo come in at 17 miles per gallon city, 23 highway, and 19 combined, which, these days, are pretty low. Plus, if you're like me, you'll be digging into the throttle on a regular basis to get the most out of this really great driving package, expect to see real-world fuel economy numbers in the high teens.
And remember, the McKin only sips premium fuel, so there's a slight cost penalty every time you visit the pump. A small price to pay for something that's so sweet to drive.